Yes, but we shall raise the starting point. Watch this. Guards! Guards! I should have stayed in that cage. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Oh, those pups got teeth! to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in. One, two! <laughs> Come one step closer and folk will die. Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. We have one demand. Pull back from the auction house. You know I cannot do that. You can. Just not sure you want to. How about I help you decide, kill a hostage? Just do what they want! I beg you! <laughs> Calm yourself! No one is to be harmed, clear? Nothing simpler. So long as you take your boys and pull out, we'll all live happily ever after. I repeat, that is not an option. We must bargain, reach an agreement. So tell me a joke, any joke. So long as it's funny. Excuse me? This is no... Got a tip for you. No charge. Every tip after this will cost you, in the blood of an innocent. When talking to someone who's holding hostages, never use the words no, not, but, or maybe. Understand, Reginald? My name's not Reg. <laughs> You're not supposed to say not! Huh, see that? This one gets the idea. And if I want to call you Reginald, I'll call you Reginald. Clear? Yes. Clear. Excellent. So let me hear the joke, Reginald. And believe me, you better hope it makes me laugh. Uh, a, li a little elfin runs up to, to his mother, calling Poop Poop. She, she says, it's over there, love. Cut yourself a slice. Pathetic, Reginald. A joke that bad's a damn crime, you know? And crimes demand punishment. No, no! Wait! Ah! You swiving idiot! You're not to say no! Damn it all! Enough! Attack! Oops, tip the scales.
splendid job. I'm a witcher, not your negotiator. Where's Eveline? Just like All the better. Your hands reaching out for loot. Come on before reinforcements arrive. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Same paintings were on the block. They're in the vault! Same paintings were on the block. For the king! For Redania! Same paintings were on the block. fucking with. On the contrary, I know all too well. Yeah, you old? Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Think you owe us an explanation, you old Borsodi. This family reunion. What's the point? Revenge. 
for betrayal, years of poverty, humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me, had me disinherited. Anything, everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that, I did. That's no excuse, Horst. And it won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! Regina! Get ready, Regina! I'll avenge you! Not good. I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you, mercy for your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. Oh, you won't. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing, any one thing. Fifteen years in the sewers. Like a beast, and you the cheek to plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Brasotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, believe him. Now, Max Borsodi's house. If you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. Dumb, but have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, at your service, mate. <laughs>
candles. Daniels will be here soon. Damn it, secret passage. Where is it? Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Stay out of my way. <laughs> what drink on my head? Very brown a piece. Huh? My fists are itching for a fight. Oh, Need to chat. I'm all ears with you. some interesting specimens. Interested? How so? Common carouses and roughnecks. Every last one. Where'd you dig them up? Some have been with me ages. Others are gathered on the road. And a few fell me themselves. They're company for drink and sports, at least. And ever since I began travelling with them, my old enemies have sat quiet as moles. Got something for you. I love gifts. But I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right, what do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Livid. He's not. No. He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others, too. Stones you've got. Well, I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. Situation got out of hand. <laughs> oh, sounds familiar. There you are, drinking, puffing on Henbane, and then, surprise, heads rolling across the floor. I don't know how or why. I'm not amused. No. Why not? Because unlike you, killing gives me no pleasure. The boss sodas aren't worth your tears. Sons of bitches to a man. Why did you need those papers? To sink the boss sodas, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellatay. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. 
Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule did annoying on soil, though. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Families lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? Get kicked out of an auction? Worse. They evicted me from my home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family, they took on some debt. A poor investment in a solar. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed it but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaid immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise the animosity you feel for him. That was but a start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tanker. And then... Then... I asked the wrong bloke for help. What happened then? Ah, what happened then, Witcher, was one big stinking pile of shite. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the heron out the barrel. This dallying. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth bore's dictum. Understood. I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? I Got it! Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The theory believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors, with the gods as witnesses. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. In 
no mood for a heart to heart. I'm to do something for you. Tell me what it is. A true professional, eh? Know what I think? I think you only feign the cold killer. When in fact you seek new and ever stronger sensations, as I do. Seek to prove to yourself that you are still able to feel. That some remnant of humanity remains within you. I'd make a right good witcher. you. Problem is, I don't know the road to care more. And I doubt you'd give me a pendant. Cut the shit, old Geard. Third wish, still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you are. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you can tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you Godspeed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. Choked to death on three pounds of steel. Anyone there? Mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Kendrick! 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 You there? Not so loud. Ah! God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. Foglets. Oh, sweet mother, my little why not I ever come here? Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. And... Mm -hmm. So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living. W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open a door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. Then nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but. What? What, what was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off I'll my... see what that was and look for your partner. You I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. Fresh manure. Water's ice cold. Mountain stream cold. Rather worn. Used often. Wonder by who.
Woods rotted completely. here, maybe somewhere out back. A grave here? Busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? Someone dragged a wounded man through here. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you? Damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. 
Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick. Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgir gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Another intruder buried by the caretaker. Seeds and bulbs. Someone's still planting flowers. My house. All geared as I've never known him. A different man then. <laughs> Happy family 
These are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting. <laughs> 